Hi everybody, this is George Jetson, and this pre-calculus lesson is on rational equations and partial fractions. I want to note you guys that we're going to skip uh, section 4.5, so if you don't see it, that's why. So um, uh, let's go ahead and take care of the board problem. Let's go ahead and graph uh, this uh, rational equation right here. Okay, y equals 1 over x is this graph. So what this is going to do is shift it to the right one. And this vertical factor of 4 just means it's going to stretch it out a little bit more. It's, it's hard to explain that 4 but can you see it's just being it's being over one and then it just goes up faster four amount of times don't worry about that just kind of it, these guys are the similar except it's just being moved over by one okay find the discriminant of this guy this is where I multiply seven times six and subtract three times nine and you get fifteen okay the determinant sorry uh, find the coordinates of the midpoint here's my midpoint formula so I get uh, five halves comma one and then for uh, the, the slope and the y-intercept I solved for y uh, and there's my slope and y-intercept. Okay, those you got. It's just algebra one skills to, to remember. Okay, rational equations and partial fractions. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this uh, rational equation. Rational just means fractions. Equation. So here's a fractional equation. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and factor this guy right here. Factors to x plus four, x minus uh, one. Then I'm going to multiply everything. Notice here's x plus four. Here's x minus one. Everything is going to have this denominator right here. So multiply every little piece by the common denominator. Okay, and then cancel it out and distribute. I'm going to distribute and multiply, and I get uh, that right there. I'm going to clean it up, make it equal to zero. Factor, and I get seven or negative four. Now, negative four makes zero in this denominator, so I can't have negative four, you guys, because it gets me an undefined fraction right there, so the answer is just seven. Okay, let's try another one right here. Okay, notice a squared minus one is a plus one, a minus one. So everything's getting multiplied by a plus one, a minus one. Okay? And then here I just multiplied that and kept it a squared minus 1. The same right here, a squared minus 1. So you can see that they just cancel right here. a times a squared is a cubed. a times negative 1 is a and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute, clean it up. And uh, let's see, so I get um, uh, the a cubes cancel on both sides. And I get a squared minus 2a minus 3. And I finally get 3 or negative 1. And then notice negative 1 gets me 0 in, in this denominator and this denominator. So i got to get rid of the negative 1. So the answer is 3. Okay, so we're gonna, now this is decomposed into partial fractions. you got to factor that denominator first. And then so what I'm going to do is, is write it as, um, uh, as uh, a over this factor plus b over this factor. And I'm going to figure out what's a and b. What numbers, uh, what numbers are those when I added those together that would get me this right here? So we're kind of going backwards. When you decompose them into partial fractions, it's asking what fractions added together to get this guy right there. All right, so what I'm going to do is multiply by the common denominator again. And I get uh, this equation right here. Okay, notice uh, the x minus 5s cancel, so I'm left with a times x plus 2. Here the x plus 2s cancel, so I'm left with b times x minus 5. That's what this stuff says. And then this is just that. They just cancel out, so I have 6x minus 2 on both sides. Okay, now first I'm going to get uh, b. Uh, or I'm going to eliminate b to get, and by eliminating b, just let uh, x equal 5. So I substituted in 5 right there, 5 right there, 5 right there. And um, this goes away now, and I'm left with uh, 7a equals over here, I get 28. So a must be 4. And then I do the same thing and eliminate uh, a by letting x equals negative 2. So when x equals negative 2, that makes this 0 right here. So this is negative 7b. And then over here, I get negative 14, so b equals 2. So a equals 4, that's going to go right here. b equals 2, that's going to go right there. So there it is, separated up into, into partial fractions right there. Okay, so uh, let's do that again with this one right here. Okay, I'm going to factor that. And a plus, uh, uh, this becomes y plus 2, y minus 1. So a over y plus 2 plus b over y minus 1. Then multiply both sides by the common denominator, and uh, I get uh, this part right here. And then I'm going to get uh, a by letting uh, y be negative 2. So I plugged in negative 2 here, and I found out a is negative 3. And then to get b, I let b be 1, because that way I get 0 right here. So I plug in 1 into that equation right here, into this equation right here, and that gets rid of a. So I get b equals 5. So there it is right there. Now they might write it 5 over this, minus 3 over this. It doesn't matter how they write it, but that's how they got that one right there. Okay, same methods. All right, so solve this guy. Okay, these guys are kind of tricky. And what you got to do is, is think of all the zeros, you guys. The zeros in the top and the zeros in the bottom. 
All right, and then so those are what's called my critical numbers right there. So I get uh, x equals 2 is a 0, x equals 1, x equals 3, x equals 4. Those are all zeros. And what I'm going to do is, is put up a number line right there with all those critical numbers right there. And then I'm going to test numbers in this region, a number in this region, a number in here, a number in here, and a number in here. And I'm going to just test them into this and see what's going to give me less than 0 or greater than 0. So let's go ahead and test them. Um, Let's test uh, x equals 0. So I'm going to test it right here. 0 minus 2 is negative. 0 minus 1 is negative. So can you see I have negative times a negative. 0 minus 3 is negative. 0 minus 4 squared. Well, squared is always going to be uh, uh, a positive, you guys. So, so uh, this is always going to be a positive. So negative times a negative is a positive. Here I have a negative times. This is always positive. That's a negative. So positive over negative is a negative. Okay. Now I'm going to test a, a 1.5 right there. So let's test 1.5 right here. 1.5 minus 2 is negative. 1.5 minus 1 is, um, is uh, positive. 1.5 minus 3 is negative. 1.5, this is always positive because it's being squared. So this is what I get right there. Now the trick is if there's an even amount of negatives, then it's positive. It's greater than 0. Okay, I'm going to test uh, 2.5, this region right here. Same thing. And I get um, uh, that one's less than zero. I'm going to test 3.5. And I just, here, back up here. 3.5 minus 2 is positive. 3.5 minus 1. 3.5 minus 3. 3.5 minus 4. So I get positive no matter what. And that's greater than zero. Let's test uh, the last region. I think I plugged in 5. Yes, I did. I get positive again. Okay, I want just the negatives because this says less than zero. So I want just the negatives right there. So it's going to be this region or this region right here. So there's the graph answer up above and the algebra answer is that right there. Okay, uh, let's try that again uh, with this one here. Okay, so solve. Okay, what I'm going to first do is, is uh, notice a can't equal zero because that gets me zero in the denominator. So a equals zero is a critical number. So I'm going to do that number line also again. Now let's solve for a to get, uh, let's find the other critical number here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is multiply everything by 12a, because that's a common denominator. Now to get rid of the denominators. Okay, so I get a equals 2. There's my other critical number. So I'm going to, again, test the regions. I'm going to test a number here. I'll probably test negative 1, probably test 1, and probably test 3. And test it back up into this equation right there, this inequality. And I just want to see, is it, uh, is it going to be greater than 3 fourths? So if I test negative 1 right here, put in negative 1 right there, I get 2 over negative 3 negative 1 right there, 5 over negative 6, is 2 over negative 3 plus 5 over negative 6. This is negative 2 thirds, which is negative 4 6, plus negative 5 6 is negative 11 6. That's not greater than 3 fourths. So now let's test 1. Is that greater than 3 fourths? You find out, yes it is. When I plug in 1 right here, 2 thirds, 1 right here, 5 6, 4 6 plus 5 6 is greater than 3 fourths. Try 3. Okay, when I try 3, um, I get bigger numbers on the denominator, which actually makes smaller fractions right there, smaller numbers. Okay, so that so it's not greater than 3 4, so I want the area that's greater than 3 4, so I want this little area right there. So um, there's the graph answer and there's the algebra answer.